Hey there, MC here, and we are here once again to do another exciting video on how to prepare for class. Today we're going to be looking at how to read with intent, especially the textbook part of preparing for class. In this video we're going to be looking at one concept in particular and how to test it, and that is the notion of intent. And when you read with intent, that's like figuring out targets about what you need to learn and what you've already learned. So in other words, reading a textbook is not reading the textbook verbatim, that is word for word. It is taking a look at what you already know by checking out concepts in the text, and then with that in mind, being able to go back in and say to yourself, well, I know these concepts because I'm explaining them to myself and I got it. Uh, these concepts I don't know, so those are the ones I'm going to read. It's simple. So in other words, you don't crack open the book and just start reading. You have an intent to figure out <laughs> what am I trying to learn here? So what we do with the course is like with the chapters is to form the intent to get a sense of the chapter and we can start just by looking at the title. So for instance chapter 5 in our textbook is emotional interaction. How would you start to explain that to yourself? What are the concepts that come to mind? Write them down, get a list and then with that list you can start to look at the start of the chapter in which when you crack it open there's a big section in blue that says objectives. At the very end of the chapter, there's a thing called summary. Do those two things mesh at all with what you were talking about in your head about emotional interaction in that case? Was anything missing? Make a note of that. Make a note of the things that you have missed, and those are your next targets. Once you've got your next targets formulated, you can go back into the chapter and look at chapter headers to see how those map to any of the key points that you might have missed and that you need to go into more deeply. Now you're figuring out what you need to get into and how to get into it. So again, checking out the chapter, mapping up to the objectives in the text, the summary at the end of the text, seeing if you can explain those terms where you can't explain terms in either objectives or summaries, go back in, start to look through the headers and boldface terms in the text to see if that helps illustrate those objectives and summary concepts. Once you've got that done, you're pretty much done. This is a great time if there are macro lectures on video associated with a particular chapter to go look at the video. Download in these cases the mind maps that go with the video so you can take notes again while you're looking at the video with the intent, for instance, to say, okay, here's this bunch of list of concepts on this map. I've got some sense of them from the reading I've already been doing. Now I'm going to be listening at the video and watching the video to see when and how these terms come up. And if I have a question about any of them, I write it down and I can go back either to the video, to the textbook, to other sources to make sure that I can start to explain this. And one of the best things you can do when you're trying to learn and engage with this material, once you've got this uh, list of uh, concepts that you're interested in prepped, is to now teach it to somebody else. No way better than teaching somebody about a concept to check out how well you know it yourself. So a suggestion might be in your groups, figure out who's going to own which chapter, pick a chapter, find a time, and teach each other. And when you teach each other, you will also be able to check in with each other to say, hmm, you're saying this concept is about this, can you explain it a little better? Or I thought it meant that. Okay, now we're both going to go look at the material to find out who of us has the better concept. We can learn from each other that way. But the main thing is, when reading or doing any kind of prep so that you can use your time as efficiently as possible. Don't think I have to read this whole chapter, this whole textbook word for word and it's going to take me ages. Read with intent. And believe me, if you're reading these chapters with intent, you're not going to take more than one or two Pomodoros to get through. And again, just doing it at that level will help you feel comfortable to come to class, engage with questions, and with those questions you might have when you're coming into class, you're going to be able to put this material together. And that will make revision really straightforward. You'll be there. You are there. See you later.